Now if you have two meters, you can do this a little bit easier, have them both set up at the same time, have them both set on min-max. You can get both your measurements during the same cranking, and also you can do it by yourself, hands-free, with the min-max function. Hello everyone, my name is Austin with Diesel Laptops, and today we're going to be talking about voltage drop. So if you like what you see in this video, make sure you give us a like and hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this. So to start off, when checking voltage drop, what we're doing is seeing if we have any sort of extra resistance in our cables going from one point to another. A good place to use this test is on your starter cables coming from your battery to your starter because there's so much amperage draw pushing through those cables that we need to make sure we have a good connection. So first thing we'll do is we'll set our meter to DC volts here. Then we're gonna take our leads and attach them to the battery terminals. So we'll put our ground lead on the negative and our red lead on the positive. And this is easier to do with hands-free leads like I'm using here. And these are just normal standard banana plug leads with clamps on the ends. So we can test everything hands-free. We don't have to have a second person up in the cab actually cranking over the engine. So after this step, we're just checking our static voltage here. And we can see that we have 12.75. Now you wanna have above 75% charge, which is around 12.45 volts. So if your voltage is below that, you gotta charge your batteries up before you can actually run this test. So once we've had our static reading here, now there's a few different ways to do this. So what we can do is go up in the truck and crank it over and have somebody else watch the meter. Or if your meter has the function, you can use the min-max setting on it. So to set that up, we'll just push the min-max button right here. And now what that's gonna allow us to do is actually record the maximum and minimum voltage that that meter is reading. It's gonna basically take a snapshot at the minimum and a snapshot at your maximum so you don't actually need somebody else to crank over the truck while you're watching your meter. You can just go back and look at it after that. So what we can do now is crank over the truck and see what kind of measurements we have. So now that we have the truck cranked over and we can come back here and actually look at our measurements. And again, if you don't have the min-max function, you'll just have to set it up where you can see your meter or get somebody else to crank the truck over. You also may have to disable the fuel injection system if the truck is going to start up because we don't want it to actually start during this test. We just want to put a load on those cables. So we had our meter set on min-max, so we can come over here and hit the min-max button. So our maximum voltage was 12.75 and our minimum voltage was 11.16 volts. So that's a good measurement right there. Now to really measure the voltage drop, we're going to do the same measurement we just did with the truck turning over from the starter. So we'll actually take our black and our red leads off of the batteries and go hook them up to the starter. Now if you have two meters, you can do this a little bit easier, have them both set up at the same time, have them both set on min-max. You can get both your measurements during the same cranking, and also you can do it by yourself, hands-free, with the min-max function. So now that we've taken our measurement at the batteries while cranking the engine over, we need to take a measurement at the starter. We've got our meter hooked up here. We've got our red lead hooked on the positive cable going to the starter, right at the starter. And we have our ground hooked up to our starter ground. So now what we're gonna be measuring is the voltage differential from the batteries to the starter, which would be anything that's lost within our cables. So this could be a bad connection going to the starter, a bad connection at the batteries, uh, corroded cables going from the batteries to the starter. There could be a lot of different things there. So check all your connections, check your cables to make sure that they're in good health. So like we said, we're hooked up to our starter. Now we can take our meter, go ahead, put it in min max, and we can go ahead and crank the truck without even having to watch the meter. So let's do that. So now that we've cranked the truck over, we can go ahead and check our min max on our meter. Now again, if you had somebody else cranking the truck over, you would just watch the meter while they're turning it over or set your meter up where you can see it. So 
Here we have our min max. I'll go ahead and hit the min max button. So our maximum voltage 12.75, which is our static voltage. And our minimum voltage is 10.15. So if you remember, we actually had 11.16 volts at the battery. So we have almost a volt of drop on these battery cables going to our starter. So again, this could be due to a bad connection at the battery terminals, a bad connection at the starter, or just worn out cables with corrosion or rubbing on a frame rail, something like that. So we have to check all of our connections to make sure what is going on. And we also have to determine whether it's a ground side or a positive side fault. So to do that, what we'll need to do is take one of our leads and connect it to the positive side on our starter and the positive terminal on our battery. We'll test that. If that voltage drop is high there, we'll have to fix that connection. When we test the ground side, we'll have to do the same thing, but we'll connect one lead to our starter ground, one lead to our battery negative terminal. And what we're looking for on this voltage drop is three tenths of a volt. So the maximum that we wanna see is about 0.3 volts or three tenths of a volt there, uh, which is the same as 300 millivolts. So right now we can see that we actually have about a whole volt of drop. So that means we could have half a volt drop on the ground side, half a volt drop on the positive side, or maybe one side just has all of the voltage drop across it and the other one is okay. So now we have our meter hooked up. One lead is going to our negative cable or terminal at the starter. You could just ground it on the housing if that's easier. And then we also have our other cable or lead going towards the battery terminal on the negative side. So we're measuring the difference between the ground at the starter and the ground at the batteries. So we see here that we have 0.0, .0 volts. That's telling us we have zero differential between our positive lead and our negative lead, or our red lead and black lead on our meter, which in this case, we're just using two black leads, but that doesn't matter. So now, once we turn the engine over, we're going to be carrying current through those cables, so therefore we will have voltage drop. So now once we turn the truck over, we should get a measurement on here. And again, first thing I'm gonna do is hit the min max button to get that set up so it can start doing that high and low recording that we had before. So now let's crank the truck over. After we crank the truck over, we can come check our measurements. So here you see that we have 6 tenths of a volt or 0.61 volts of drop across our ground side cables. Now if we hit the min max button again, we see the zero that we started with and the maximum voltage that we got after we actually had voltage drop. So that would tell us that we're dropping 6 tenths of a volt on just the ground side. So we need to zero in on what's causing that problem. Again, that could be a connection at the batteries itself, a connection at the starter, or maybe a cable is corroded into inside where it's causing a voltage drop across there due to high resistance. So we'll check all that out. So now that we've taken our measurement on the negative side, we're gonna take our measurement on the positive cables also. So we have our meter hooked up to the positive stud on the starter and the positive terminal of the battery. I'm gonna do the same thing, set my meter to min max, and we're gonna go ahead and turn over the engine now. Now that we've cranked over the engine, we're looking at our meter and we see that we do not have any voltage on there. Now you might look at this and think, oh good, I have no voltage drop. But when we hit the min max button, we'll see that we actually are reading negative 0.43 volts on our minimum. So what's going on here is my common lead or my black lead is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and my red lead is connected to the terminal on the starter. So the polarity is actually swapped the way that it's flowing through there. So what we need to do is actually use this negative reading as our voltage drop. So we can see here, we have about four tenths of a volt drop. And again, the maximum that we wanna see is about three tenths of a volt. 
This may be okay, but we're probably going to find a problem with it. Corrosion, a bad connection, anything like that. So we need to check that out also. So now we've found that we have a problem on our positive and our ground side going to our starter, which may be a simple fix, or we may have to replace all the cables going from the battery to the starter. So if you liked what you learned in this video and you want to see more videos like it, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you do try this test and it helps you out. Let us know how it works for you.